Hello, I'm Jim Fields from SAP, and I'm delighted to be here today with Sanjeev Gupta, who is the president and CEO of OpsVeda. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Jim. It's a pleasure so to be here. I understand that OpsVeda has built its platform on top of SAP HANA. Can you tell us a little bit about um, your uh, product and what some of your customers may be doing with it? So OpsVeda, um, incidentally, OpsVeda was one of the first few startups that joined the SAP Startup Focus Program. Um, we saw the power of HANA about three, three and a half years ago. Um, we have natively built an operational intelligence platform leveraging SAP HANA. What the solution does is it provides real-time visibility and continuous monitoring. So intelligent monitoring uh, then real-time visibility across various data sources that are getting streamed into, into AppSweda. These data sources tend to be SAP ERP systems, some other external data sources, external ERP systems, and external logistics and supply chain data. So, so our business users get real-time visibility into, into things that need their attention as soon as they come to work. So. And we, we've uh, talked a lot lately about simplicity and how making the complex simple brings benefits to business. Can you talk a little bit about how OpsVate is attacking that? That's a, that's a fantastic question. So, so um, we believe, and of course, as, as founders, we are slightly biased. Uh, we believe that OpsVeda is the world's first intelligence platform built for the end users. And when it comes to the end users, they don't really want to want to do self-service BI or any other. Uh, they don't want to search for information. So we have built a solution which is which is absolutely simple. It is so simple that end users, when they come to work, uh, the solution tells them what they really need to do. So to to, to, to a certain extent, uh, simplicity is in the DNA of the company. I think that was uh, uh, about five years ago when the company was founded. It was founded with the intention of making real-time visibility available to the end user, to the users who really need the simplicity. And so you mentioned uh, the system kind of telling people what they need to pay attention to, uh, what they need to take action on. What are, what's kind of a use case of that? So, so uh, at, the, at the end user level, the solution provides a, a streaming live workbench of things that the end user does as soon as he or she comes to work. He or she looks at, tech, at process exceptions that need attention, he or she looks at uh, that certain KPIs which, which need to be to be addressed. He or she uh, looks at stuck transactions, uh, shortages, transactions which where I might have have overselling happening or or the, the, the or sets of of products that have undersold. So that's one view of the simple views and then corresponding drill downs that we offer to to business uh, users. Uh, interestingly, this simplicity transcends into the executive uh, level as well. So the historical systems have done a fantastic job of giving um, uh, businesses visibility into what is, what is strong and what is weak. So that strength, weakness, opportunity, threat perspective, systems give you visibility into what happened well and what did not happen well. A real-time system gives you visibility into what are the opportunities and threats. So as an executive, I look at the system and it tells me which are the, which are the transactions which really need to be improved in order to make my numbers for the quarter. So some of those things, um, uh, system tends to answer. Another example of you know um, of how the, the system simplifies uh, certain uh, everyday business challenges is the recent uh, port blockade that we have seen um, um, in Long Beach and Oakland and you know all across the United States there has been gridlock in the ports, uh, which for, would affect the these. supply chain. I would imagine. Yes, it affects the supply chain. It affects, uh, uh, so lots of containers coming from all across the world, they are stuck in the port. Now, if you are a business owner or if you are a large manufacturer or a distributor, you need those containers to be cleared so that they can reach the retail stores. Now, now if you had 10 containers stuck at a port, how do you know which containers to clear? Because the port is only telling you that they can only clear two containers today because there is a, it's kind of a gridlock. So in order to answer that question, you really need analytics which will tell you as and when you ask the question, it tells you what is my, my overall forecast, what is my, my current demand, what is my current inventory, what is my current uh, supply picture looking like, and what's the relative priority of the, of the customers. So Opsweda, with the help of SAP HANA, is able to answer some of these questions so that we can decide um, uh, uh, how we can optimize either for revenue or for customer satisfaction or for overall supply chain. And you've heard us talk a lot lately about S for HANA. 
What, what's your take on that and how that might change business? So uh, uh, that's, a, that's a fantastic question. We clearly have seen the power of HANA. And I think the power of HANA is now coming to the core of the enterprise. Um, historically, customers have taken a long time deploying solutions. They, they spend a lot of money to simplify what they have, uh, what SAP offers them. S4 HANA is, is an out-of-the-box platform which, uh, which creates an ability to, to, to simplify business. And the simplify business doesn't necessarily mean that hey, hey, the business was never complex. The system's ability to handle things on a real-time basis helps you simplify business. Um, um, historically, customers had the ERP system, they had the BI system, they had a number of other connected systems, right? So a lot of the throughput uh, used to be shifted into those connected systems. As for HANA, enables you to do all of that in one platform. So I think it's a it's a great opportunity for for SAP customers to adopt S4 HANA and uh, and uh, the flexibility, the real time and the simplicity that it offers should definitely help the customers. So one last question: You mentioned that when you originally established a company, um, that was before HANA existed, and then you shifted to um, build your products on the HANA platform. What was that decision process like and uh, how has that played out? So uh, that is a question very close to, uh, to my heart as well. Um, our first product was built on the, on the NetWeaver platform. That platform, it was not easy to scale the true vision of the product on that platform. We could All we could barely do was to, was to handle real-time streams of data and, and then throw away data as soon as, as soon as the exception management around that data was done. With HANA, we are able to store uh, a significant amount of history, and we are able to do significant amount of, of predictive analytics as a result of which. And therefore, the, the, the true vision of being able to provide real-time vis uh, visibility, to provide, to predict what's going to happen, and also to be able to prescribe what the next course of action for the end users should be, I think that kind of capability was only possible with a platform like HANA. So that was the fundamental reason why we shifted and and I think it's uh, it's definitely good. So you going basically well. bet your business on Hana. Yes, we bet our business on Hana. I I won't say it has been easy, but uh, but now we have a number of large enterprise customers who are live on Hana, either on premise or on cloud. Um, they have uh, have said fantastic things about us, and uh, and we are beginning to uh, truly impact the business in a positive manner. That's great. Thank you for joining us. That's uh, Sanjeev Gupta, who's the president and CEO of Observeda. And I'm Jim Fields from SAP. Thanks for joining us.